hi guys welcome back this is Ramesh uh, today we are going to see how to recover the password from Cisco ASA 551050 okay first we are going to connect the console cable on the firewall on the console port okay. then connect the secure CRT or QT socket to access it and just reboot the firewall now the firewall is turned on Fine. now you can see here, yeah, let's wait for certain seconds. Is the initial uh, checking on the firewall is going on? Fine. Thereafter, you can see it lost you to uh, plus escape or break button to interrupt the normal boot procedures. At the same at time, we have to plus escape button to interrupt the boot procedures. See, now the BIOS she's loading. You can see here, asking to press escape or control break to interrupt the boot we have done the boot is interrupted fine now the firewall is in the room on mode which you can see here now the firewall came to the room on mode now just press question mark to help see the help commands which is available on this room on mode fine. there are a lot of commands are loaded here you can see there is one command called config means configuration register the by default all the configurations are registered in 0x01 we have to change the register name to 0x41 config the same command and press enter it will say that the default current configuration register value is 0x00001 means 0x01 okay now it's asking you do you wish to change the configuration uh, configuration you can press yes or uh, no i mean okay and you can press yes and we can go further to change the configuration register okay. that is asking you do you wish to change this configuration yes or no i'm just putting no because i'm going to change manually fine that's it so what i'm going to do you know you saw this current register value 0x0001 i'm going to change the value Zero N F O E G zero X four one. Instead of zero one, I'm going to change it to the X four one. It's updating configuration value zero X four one in the NVRAM. That's it. Fine. Now I am rebooting the system. Applying the command boot. Fine. Now the system is reloading. Now, now the firewall is loaded is rebooted fine now it's if you go to the privilege mode yes it's asking the password just again press enter because the password is blank so no need to type anything fine now you are in the privilege mode okay okay here if you see show run you type show run see it doesn't have any configurations which means this firewall is in the default mode i mean it doesn't have any configurations okay and at the same time if you want to see the previous configuration just put show startup or show configuration see you can see there is configurations okay you can see there is configurations fine same the show configuration also will show the startup configuration or show startup configuration also will show you the configuration you can see here it's showing now the same configurations i mean show startup and show configuration both are will work to show the previous configuration to restore the old configuration to running configuration apply this command copy startup configuration to running configuration will ask you destination file is running configuration yes we don't want to change it we just press enter once again yes yes the startup configuration is, is uh, move to running configuration you can see show run yes the configuration go to the global mode and change the password enable password and change it 
okay i mean you can change it to now you can change it the once password. you change the password now what you have to do previously we have changed the configuration register value from 0x01 to 0x41 right so we have to revert it back to 0x01 so what is the command on the global mode you just type config hyphen register on the remote mode it was saying that config here the command is configuration register and 0x01 you just type it now the configuration register value is changed to 0x412 0x01 now you just save the configuration that's it the route is back uh, firewall is back to operation and we would reload it you can reload it and you can cross check thank you so much and hopefully this video will be uh, you know helpful to uh, our uh, colleagues and uh, thank you so much and see you next time bye bye this is ramesh